What if your boss made you an offer you couldn't refuse? I host a dinner once a month. Next one's on Saturday. Great. Each of us finds a remarkable person and invites them to dinner. Here's a guy that I invited last year. You invite idiots to dinner and make fun of them? Mm -hmm. That's messed up. Why can't you just suck it up and make fun of some idiots? Sometimes you have to do the right thing. Are you okay? Yeah. Is that a Porsche? I have been hit by a Datsun before, never a Porsche. You know, tomorrow night, I'm having dinner with some friends. Are you? That's incredible. Congratulations. Would you like to join us? Thank you. OK. From the director of Meet the Parents. We having this dinner or not? It's tomorrow. Pretty sure it's tonight. And Meet the Fockers. <laughs> oh my god, you gave her my address? She's been stalking me for two years. You want me to tell her not to come? I'm a naughty little schoolgirl. You look a little old to be a schoolgirl. <laughs> Oh, God. This summer. Where are you? Dinner's about to start. There's been a complication. Two unlikely friends. He's eating paper! No! <laughs> One crazy adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. Are you sure you want to do this? You need to show your boss that you are friends with the winner. I'd like to introduce Lewis and his wife, Diane. Your wife? For now. Oh. Look at that. He's blind. He's a swordsman. And that guy. Mind control. I'm so not in their league. Are you looking down my dress? No. Tim, were you? I'm not doing it. Oh, God. Dinner for Schmucks. Hi, Tim. We switched phones. OK. Oh. I just realized you can't get my messages. My password is P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. You can't get that message either.